Good morning, it's your crazy old coot here. How's it going? Looky see here what I got. Yes, Asus Tough B450M Plus Gaming. Of course, if it's not fast, if it doesn't have gaming in the name. Motherboard. Yes. Oh, yes. And it has RGB. It's going to have RGB or it's not fast. Okay, so here's the back side of the package. And it's a AM4 socket, obviously. And it's a B450 chipset. I bet you wouldn't have guessed that. What? One of the reasons I did buy this is it's got four DIMM slots, okay? And it's... Da, 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 da. It's got three PCIe Express slots. Uh, one's a 16, which is uh, armored. And then it's got a, a 1X, another 16, but they're really 8s. But So you got a total of three PCIe Express. It's also certified for VGA integrated graphics in AMD Ryzen with Radeon Vega graphics processors. Multi VGA output support, HDMI and DVI-D ports. For storage, it supports M.2 sockets, three with a M key type, and it lists a whole bunch. And it's got six serial ATA 6.0 gigabyte connectors with RAD 0, RAD 1, and RAD 10 support. For LAN chip, it's got the Realtek 8111H gigabyte LAN controller. For audio, it's got the uh, Realtek ALC 887 VD2 8 channel high definition audio codec. For USBs, it's got one USB 3.1 Gen 2 port, five USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports, three ports at the back panel, and six USB 2.0 slash 1.1 ports. Two ports at the back panel, four ports at the midboard. And of course, it's got tough gaming audio. Aurora Sync, which must be Asus's brand of RGB controller and it's got tough components and that's supposedly military grade components and it's exclusive safe slot 1.8 times max force. And the other thing this has and it doesn't I'm surprised it doesn't say it here is this motherboard has uh, voltage uh, protection built into it pretty heavy. So I go to Asus's webpage for the Tough B450M Plus Gaming, and we looked up the ESD guards, and here's the slide. So basically, you've got your LAN port, your keyboard and mouse connectors, your VGA protection, and USB connectors are all protected for ESD. That's lightning and static electricity. You can pause here and take a closer gander. So they're also touting Tough Component. So here is their slide on the Tough components. They're supposedly certified military grade tough components. How great they are. And again, you can pause the slide and, and read it for yourself. This is Asus's slide on their layout and it shows where everything is located. So you can pause here also and take a closer look. What I don't like about this board. First of all, the RGB is lame. It's one little thing in one little corner, and it changes colors. Woo! That will make it faster. Pet peeve. On the serious side, the other thing I don't like is the um, PCI Express slots. The PCI Express 3.0 slot, that's Asus Safe slot. It's got their armor on it. That slot is good because it's right where it's supposed to be, so you can plug in a, a graphics card, and there's going to be room to fit it in there. The 1X slot is in the most stupid location. It's right next to the 3.0 slot. And if you put a graphics card in the PCI Express 3.0 slot, which is where you're supposed to put it, that 1X spot is useless. What I think they should have done is where the M.2 connector is, they should have swapped location. 
because with the M.2, you can slide it. It will be underneath your, your video card. And that way you can still use the 1X slot. The Times X slot, well, you can use that as your 1X, whatever, for, you know, wireless or whatever. But for Crossfire, it's on the edge of the board. Now, again, this is a micro ATX board. You're going to have to have some compromises. So if you're going to want to use Crossfire, you're going to have to have a bigger case than a micro ATX case. So that's basically what my pet peeves with this board are, which you're probably all considering are, is minor. I've been running it now for a while, and I haven't had any issues. Works great, lasts a long time. Just don't paint it green. We're going to wrap this up. I have enough stuff to do another video on the uh, BIOS and on the performance of the board with my 2400G. I hope to get that out soon. So I'm leaving you with this little photo. I got a kick out of it. And this is your crazy old coot wishing you a good evening.